Good morning, friends. Well, we're still in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Aren't you about ready to finish this chapter? I am too. <laughs> we are in a section that is very difficult to understand. You know, this passage tests one of the tenets of the Restoration Movement and one of the tenets of the Reformation, and that is the perspicuity of Scripture. I can see my daughter rolling her eyes right now. Perspicuity of Scripture. There's our word for the day. <laughs> Perspicuity. Clarity. Lucidity. Clearness. If a statement is uh, perspicuous, it is clear, it is understandable, it is lucid. And this section really doesn't put the perspicuity of Scripture to the test. I still believe that Scripture can be understood. God wouldn't give us a revelation that could not be understood, would He? I mean, it wouldn't be much of a revelation, would it? It wouldn't reveal anything if we couldn't understand it. So, I believe most of us can understand most of Scripture. We modern readers may not be able to understand it as well as the original readers could understand it, but we can understand it. But still, there are portions of Scripture that are difficult to understand. In fact, if you don't mind my saying, I'm going to say that this section tells us about the lawless one and the one who restrains the lawless one. And I'm going to say that I don't think we can be certain as to the identity of those two people or powers or whatever they are. I think it's impossible for us to know for sure just exactly what Paul is talking about in this passage. And so I'll be eager to get out of chapter 2. When I read these verses, chapter 2, verses 5 through 9, I choose to focus on two truths in this passage. Truths that certainly apply to my life and to your life as well. The first truth is that Satan is surely at work in the world. Now, in my prayer for today, I expressed my naivete regarding the working of Satan. I'll just tell you, I don't often think to myself, now there is Satan at work, or this occurrence is the work of Satan. I don't often see that, and so it's a helpful reminder to me that Satan is at work and that there is evil in the world. But the second truth that I appreciate from this text is that eventually the Lord will destroy Satan and every form of evil with the breath of his mouth. Eventually, God wins and evil loses. Now, aren't you glad that you're on God's side? I am too. No matter what the present looks like, no matter how grim or dismal the future appears to be, we know that God's going to win and we're on his side and right will triumph and he will take care of his people. Think about that today, would you? God bless.